publishing is the act of, I want this on my website. I want it live. Okay? This, this needs to be on the web. So you can either, if the post isn't ready, you can save it as a draft, which means you can come back to it later, take a look at it. If you want to see what it will look like in your site, you can click preview. I said, oh, this is what it's going to look like. It gets published right in my theme. Right? So I can take a look at it. I can review it. I can make sure that there's no formatting that I don't like. Uh, is this image where I want it to be? How does it look? Um, and then when I'm ready, I just click the publish button. It says post published. What? It can't be that easy. <laughs> this is about your post. One of the greatest, greatest things about WordPress is it used to take a decent amount of technical knowledge to be able to publish something to the internet. And now with software like WordPress, all it takes is what I just did. And this is now on a website live. You can go home and go to this and find it. Or on your phone. You can find it right now. It's live on the internet. I don't know about you guys. I think that's really cool. Um, we like to talk about it as the democratization of publishing, and that it breaks down barriers for people to be able to post their thoughts, or to create a website for the business, where it's less reliance on other people to get the stuff done for you, and more focusing on just making the content and getting published. This is really cool. Right? Why? Right. What it's gone live, and now you decide you want it down. Okay. I, okay. I made a mistake. Yeah. I don't like it. I can edit the post, which is a button. When you're logged in, there's a button at the top of the bottom of every post is edit this post. And if I want to unpublish it, I can just change it back to a draft or make a pending review, whichever either way. Either way. Both of those take it off the web. Though. Yeah. Both of these yeah. options will take it off. Then I hit update, and now if I go back to my site, just a hello. The post is gone, so it's gone. Or have Yeah. <laughs> um, those are the basics of publishing post Um For time, I'm not going to be able to get into the more intricate aspects of it because there are some other basics that I really, really want to cover today. Um, the first that I want to cover uh, is going to be comments. Um, and you'll see, so down at the bottom of the world, there is one reply. And this is Mr. WordPress. He says, hi. So uh, comments are completely optional in WordPress site. You can turn them off if you want to. They're on by default. But a comment is basically a way for a reader to leave you a message that hopefully is topical to what you're talking about. That was a son of a So, with that in mind, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to my site because I have a bunch of comments here. And I'm going to go to comments. And so you can see, so here's a comment on my post that was actually, hey, we can't sit, this is a Saturday. This is Sherry, my wonderful coworker. And she said both the talks are great. Hot dead. This is a great comment, so I let it go. It's on, it's on my post. You can see it underneath my post. Um, so you can see that in when a comment is posted, you have these options in settings discussion. You might want to write that down. The most important things in settings discussion are before a comment appears, and you have two options for this. The first is an administrator must always approve the comment. And the second is the comment author must have a previously approved comment. So if you have it set to administrator must approve everything, every comment that's made on your site goes into what's called moderation, which means it's not published to your site until you click an approve button. Uh, if you have it set to the second option, then if you have approved a comment from that person's email address before, the next comment they publish will just go through. Whether or not you want to allow or moderate comments completely on your site is completely up to you. It's just a personal choice. But when you have comments, then you can go to this comment screen and you can moderate them. So if I just I change my mind and I don't want your comment on my post, I can unapprove it, pulls it from the page. Um, I can reply to the comment, in which case I get a little box here, and then I can type a reply, and then that goes into a threaded reply underneath her comment. I can edit her comment if I want to. 
Um, I will edit other people's comments for grammar. <laughs> so if you have a comment on my site, I may change it. Um, although I have no worries with this group, right? Um, I will sometimes change comments, or uh, you know, if somebody has a web link that I don't necessarily want, because they can leave a URL, they can leave a web link, this is my web presence. Maybe I don't want that on my website, I just want it, and then they'll republish the comment. Um, I, can, I can full edit the comment with just a little more control. I can delete the comment by moving it to the trash, or I can mark the comment as spam. Which, <laughs> now that you've turned comments on your WordPress site, let's talk about spam. <laughs> You'll get it a lot, a lot. It's getting hard. It's, hard. It gets, it's getting worse all the time. <laughs> um, and if you approve spam comments, you will get more spam comments <laughs> because the spammers actually know where other spammers have been successful, and they target those sites. So let's talk about plugins. <laughs> there are two plugins. Actually, let's go back to the other site here. There are, with every WordPress installation, two plugins that are installed by default. The first is Hello Dolly, which is just a, it's basically a learn how to make a plugin plugin. And if you turn it on, then it just inserts a random lyric from Hello Dolly at the top of your dashboard. Oh. The second is, is a plugin for a service called Akismet. Akismet, if you ask me, Akismet needs to be installed on every WordPress site you create, without exception. Because what Akismet does is it stops spam from appearing on your blog. That's its whole job. Um, and so, like this is an example of a plugin that's been installed. I can click activate. I want to turn Akismet on. And again, this all ready. I'm going to enter my Akismet API key for work. Blah, 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 blah. And because Akismet is a service, you actually have to go to akismet.com and there's great instructions here on how to do it. And you have to get what's called an API key, which works kind of like a password. And then once you've entered your API key, when you sign up at akismet.com, and please note, akismet.com for personal use is free. You can pay for it if you want to. You actually have a pay what you want service for those people who are using it for the personal websites. But you don't have to pay for it. Um, so you enter your key and you activate akismet. And then what it does is, you have this spam queue in your comments. So let's go back to the comments on my bigger blog. Let's go to spam queue. And hey, look at this. Spam! Um, I also, okay, so just a couple of things about spam. Big time. Um, Spammers are really, really good at making it sound like they're agreeing with you. If you get a comment that's very, very positive, it makes you feel like the most awesome person in the world, be cautious. Because spammers have discovered that if they say nice things about you, their comments get hurt. In general, if a kid that dumps it in what's called the spam queue, you should trust it. Unless it's from somebody that you can help. You can unspam the comment. But you should leave it in spam, because these will get deleted automatically after 30 days. Um, but these are these are kept here so you can kind of take a look at it. So like I had a post that was about stuff my kids were learning by playing Super Mario Brothers, right? Interesting stuff to me. And here's this, well that was one of my favorite games when I was a kid. I know the Super Mario games still have them. I still own the NES. Home video game consoles.net. Spam! <laughs> they're, they're leaving a comment that looks relevant in order to gain traffic to their own website. That's a very definitional spam comment. They want to redirect the traffic from your site to their site. Two reasons. First, so people might see the comment and go. And second, Google. They want the Google juice. So that could be somebody where that's his, you know, not just a spam site, but that could right. be his business. Yeah. Well, yeah. He's just trying to. And he's trying to redirect the comment. And, you know, the comment really doesn't add much to the conversation. It's very, very generic. So this, this in my book, is a spam comment. And then you look at the site, and if you look at the site, you can generally tell it's spam. <laughs> so the spammer generally will leave his own site? Yes. Yeah. They'll do a Google search. And that's the, the whole point, is they'll leave the information for their own site. So you'll see that I actually find this as spam because it got through. The important thing is if spam comments get through to your moderation queue, that you fly them as spam, because the Akismet service will learn from the things that you're doing and get better at blocking spam. So not you, but everybody else who uses the service. Millions of people. It's really, really great service. Again, you shouldn't have a WordPress installation that doesn't have Akismet turned on all the time. So, but if you have quality comments, yep. and that's 
good from Google's point of view. That's good for your, your yes. website. Yes, discussion, quality discussion is great to have on your blog because it is updating the content of the blog, right? Um, and that's kind of like. Uh, there's always a question in the beginner group of WordPress focus. What about SEO? What do I have to do for SEO for my WordPress site? My answer to that generally is nothing. WordPress in and of itself is fairly SEO optimized. It does a pretty good job. The biggest advice I can give you for your search engine relevance is to just write. <laughs> Update your site on a regular basis. It doesn't have to be daily. Maybe twice a week. If you're running a blog, daily is great, but you can't do it all the time. Trust me, I know this. Um, but update your site with relevant, well-written content that other people want to link to, other people want to find, that show up in Google searches. And the best way you can do that is to write about something you know about. Right? Just write. And the best thing you can do for your website is just make sure that you're using it and not giving it more. That's the best thing you can do for SEO. The other thing that I would, and the other plugin that you really should have installed if you want kind of bits here and there is what's called Jetpack. A lot of one click installations for WordPress actually come with Jetpack pre installed. Um, and Jetpack gives you a bunch of modules that you can turn on and off. Um, I will let you guys explore those. Um, it's a little bit too much to cover in the, you know, now 10 minutes that we have left. Um, and so I don't want to get into the particulars, but I just want to point you to Jetpack. So the two plugins that I kind of say you should have in every WordPress installation are Akismet to prevent spam, and Jetpack for no other reason than it gives you very, very simple statistics on your website, which you'll see if I go to my dashboard. This just sits in my dashboard, and it's a very, very, very quick here are my stats for the last uh, 10 days, give or take. And then top posts, top search terms, and it just gives you kind of a very quick, and there are more detailed stats you can go to by clicking on that button down. But the Jetpack plugin, the big thing in it are the other stats. Okay. Um, what's next? This covers like the very, very basics, the very, very basic aspects of running WordPress site in kind of lightning fashion because there's so much to go through we could have done two hours without any trouble at all. Easy. Um, the thing to remember is that WordPress is not just a piece of software, it's also a community. So if it's something that really, really interests you and you really, really want to get involved in it, you can get involved as much or as little as you want. There are great uh, support forums and discussion forums at WordPress.org. Uh, if you run into a problem with your self host insula installation, you have a question, you can always go to wordpress.org slash support. There's a support form there. There are wonderful volunteers who give up their time to do nothing but help people write control of WordPress. Fantastic. Um, the other thing is that there actually is a St. Louis WordPress meetup that's held once a month on third Wednesday. Um, I actually don't have the address yet with me. I can look it up. It's down in or something. I think it's, I think it's 3301 Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Okay. Uh, it's at the Go Brando. Wednesday every month. Is the and if you just do Google search for St. Louis WordPress meetup, you'll find the website for it. It's really easy. Um, and uh, throughout the day today, during the sessions, well, there will be a table set up outside where the auditorium is uh, for what we call a happiness bar. 